A very good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the CAT based logical reasoning solving session. Uh, basically, uh, the agenda of today's session is we will be solving uh, three sets uh, that's a CAT based logical reasoning sets, uh, which means that the questions are of unstructured logical reasoning. Uh, so, we will be learning that how to structure the information, how to make cases and uh, how to uh, basically solve a question uh, which will be of a complex level right so this uh, today's session comprises of three sets the first one is based on selection and grouping a very similar kind of set appeared in cat 2020 uh, which was based on selection and grouping right so we'll be learning the aspects of selection and grouping in solving the first set now the next two sets will be based on uh, numeric logic where we'll be applying a logic of uh, numbers to, to get the answers and making cases right so uh, as we know that okay, numbers have an important aspect as per logical reasoning uh, is concerned and logical reasoning information you will be finding a uh, lots of information which will be based on numbers i'll say that okay, approximately 80 percent of the question which appears in uh, cat dalr section they will contain a logic of numbers. We need to think in terms of numbers. We need to make cases in terms of numbers, right? So the, the next two sets will be based on numbers. We'll, we'll be learning that how to make cases in terms of number, how to structure the information. So let's uh, go ahead and let's solve the uh, three sets. All right. So in LR, uh, we, we get a question type where we are given uh, what we call the selection and grouping type of question. So in selection and grouping question what happens is we are given maybe one group or two group or three group and we have to form some committees out of it okay? and uh, some cases uh, there can be overlap some cases there won't be any overlap so we, we i call it means we call it selection of those members and making them into groups so that is what selection and grouping is now in selection and grouping uh, if you see there are constraints given and according to constraints we assign uh, people into different groups now these constraints are something which we need to uh, see very very uh, specifically okay so there are multiple types of constraints one constraint is what we call a uh, positive type of constraints positive constraint means uh, positive constraint specifically what i mean is let's say a person will be assigned to a particular committee so which is straightforward you make a table you just assign that person that is the best kind of information you can have okay the best piece of information you can have is positive constraint okay. then second thing which we have is some what you call negative constraint negative constraint means so it doesn't mean that A belongs to B, I mean a, a particular category or something. It means A doesn't belong to first category. So now A can belong to second one or third one, it means we, we don't know. So this kind of constraints, so our, whatever structure we make that should be having this, uh, uh, this thing, uh, negative constraints uh, should be included. Then third thing we have is dependencies. Now dependencies again can be positive or negative positive means a will go along with b something of that sort okay so a with b that's a with c so a and c will go together so they 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 have means we have to think about size of the groups and we have to try to fit it negative dependencies now negative dependencies B not with D. So we have to make sure that they, they stay in different groups. Okay, so that is what dependencies mean. Now sometimes 
uh, if we, we serve the questions, they make uh, some sort of a I mean different type of uh, the thing uh, dependencies which can be uh, two out of three or two out of four of A B C D will be in one group, right? So two out of three or four, let's say A P Q R S together. Now, if they are assigned to a particular uh, this thing, uh, particular uh, this thing group, then it's great. If they are not assigned to a particular group, then we have to make cases. Now, thing is, so what we do is, whenever you read information, first thing you need to do is you need to denote these information in your table. This one and this one. This one is you make a tuplet A and C, A and C. Try to fit in. Where can you fit in? Okay. okay. Similarly, negative case B and C. What, what, what we can? Generally, this is something which helps us in making cases because this, let's say A and C are together means two two people are together. So this will also raise concern about the size of the groups. Particular size fit kar hai, nahi kar hai. Uski se kya hoga? If we are putting into A, then B and C ke liye kafi, means, oh, A may kafi restriction ka ka remaining uh, low kit A or C saath mein, let's say committee number XYZ mein, uh, jo hai, baaki kon -kon members aasak. So always think about this positive dependency and try to fit this in and make cases. So cases to banana hai, but cases banana ke liye basis ye hona this is the basis and you make cases. Everyone? So this is very very important everyone. Because negative dependency say na aap log cases nahi bana sakte. Negative dependency is wo checking mechanism. Na? This is once you make these cases, check these cases, check it. Now ye constraint apply karo ya check. But this positive dependency is A or C or this group is case. So this is the mechanism you are supposed to use. Now, if you are not aware of this mechanism, you will probably waste a lot of time. Sometimes you will not be able to solve. Now, one very important thing is question solving. Now generally what happens is uh, whenever I am solving LR question we are making grouping or selection of grouping or any other type of question even a DI questions you know, where you have some missing data and all. So I always go and look at the questions. You know, if questions are of type that if B and C together what will happen to let's say some K or something like that. And so that means what? that this question is not completely solvable. So even if you solve completely, there will be some cases which will be open-ended. You know, we, we will not get exact answer. So that gives me a clue that, okay, this is what I can do. Means, means uh, we can keep on applying and then where, where I need to stop. Otherwise what happens is, uh, generally what we think is everything is solvable. We keep on trying, 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 trying. And then if you are not able to means get it completely, then we go and solve questions. So, am I audible everyone? Yes, no? Ananya, I am audible to everyone else. Ananya, okay. Okay, so yeah, coming back to this one. So question solving mein kya karna hai? Look at the question. So questions are if constraint based. Constraint based ya condition based jo bhi bol rahe hai. question bhi constraint based hai. Is ka matlab hai, your solution is incomplete. Na? 
इनकम्प्लीट सोल्यूशन मिलेगा तो आपका एक्सपेक्टेशन उसके हिसाब से सब सेट होना चाहिए एवरीवन एफ डायरेक्ट मीन्स क्वेश्चन है इसका मतलब है कम्प्लीटली सॉल्व होगा मतलब बाई ए इज इन विच कमेटी और ए मीन्स और समथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट है ना वो हु आर द मेम्बर्स ऑफ कमेटी जेड इफ यू आस्क दूस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन देन कम्प्लीट सोल्यूशन मिलेगा ठीक है तो एवरी वन अंडरस्टूड वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू कन्वे हेयर सेलेक्शन एंड ग्रुपिंग में क्या हम लोग का अप्रोच होना चाहिए वॉट शुड वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू वॉट शुड बी द थॉट प्रोसेस एवरी वन यस नो एवरीवन ओके सो नाउ आई मीन शेयर द क्लास शीट इन योर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप एज वेल एज आई शेयर वन क्वेश्चन हियर एंड यूल सॉल्व इट नो एंड लेट्स सी If we can, okay, it's a good quality question. As in, when I say good quality question, means that easily solvable. नहीं है, ठीक है. दिमाग लगेगा. So let's see. Class sheets, dear. Class session. So. So first thing what I did boy what did I say whenever you are solving DI or other question go look at look have a look at questions you know and see whether it's a constraint based question means uh pura completely solve hoga ya nahi hoga just try to determine that once you have that idea then solve it okay so first of all that is something which you need to do got the point everyone so just look have a look at this question meanwhile i am just uh, sharing this file in your whatsapp group and let me know completely solve hoga ya nahi hoga is it completely solvable guys yes no Here you have a clue. Sheet is in your WhatsApp group. Try solving it. I'll give you in ten minutes, and then we'll have discussion. Over to you guys.
Okay, everyone. Anyone answers? Shall we begin solving? Anyone answers? Question number one, two, three. Shall we start? Or you need more time? Two more minutes, okay? I'll give you two more minutes. Then we'll begin the discussion. Okay, so time's up everyone. Start today, it's almost 15 minutes. Answers guys, anyone? Three, two, two. All of the following can be part of X except, okay, B can be there, C can be there, and G cannot be there, yes. F and G belong to the same committee, then which of the following are definitely in the committee together? F and G are same com committee, then A, C. Yes, second one. G belongs to Y. G belongs to Y, then which of the following cannot be in committee X? H, okay, J, C, A. H and T. Okay, looks fine. Let's start, everyone. Uh, let's start uh, solving. So, everyone, let's focus uh, on the question solving if you're not able to so solve so far. A housing society has six primary members A, B, C, D, F, four associate members G, H, I, J. These members are to be form used to form three committees X, Y, Z. Each of the housing, uh, each member of housing society has to be a member of exactly one committee, one of the committees. Okay. X is highest number of members, Z has the least number of members with no two 
committee is having equal number of members. So if you see six plus four, we have ten members. No two have same numbers means kya ho gaya? Hum log ka sizes can be so it can be five three two six three one seven two one ah, something of that sort. Each committee will have at least one primary and one associate member. So this is the only solution possible. Five three two. So X will have five members, Y will have three members, and Z will have two members. That is what is given to us. So I write X, Y, Z. Here five, three, here two. And everyone, each of these parts, we we should have one committee member. Okay, so at least one. So this is what we have. Now we we are given case, and when we have seen the question number one, two, three, we know that we we will not be able to solve this completely. So we are ready to have cases. So everyone, as I told you, we'll have cases. So be ready that you may have to form more than one of such boxes. Anna, these are the boxes I already. So probably this is one. Then we'll have another possibility. So I'm writing here x. Y, two, and Z. Sorry, Y three and Z. And I'm segregating between primary and associate member. I will not work for I. Is so Y. So let's say this is primary and this is associate. So I is not here. I is cross. Okay. A and G cannot be part of the same committee. So A and G are not together. I'm just writing this notation. मतलब दोनों साथ में काम नहीं करें C and J only work in the same committees. See, this is positive constraint, dependency वाला. This is something which we can चिपका हुआ नहीं है. E will work only in Z. E is in Z. So this is इसका एक कोटा खत्म. This is done. This part is done. H will only work with X. So H is here. Mostly we'll get one more member here. Okay, or maybe in this uh, why we'll have one more member we we don't know. Okay, so this is some this is something. So I'm just circling this. Now, this is already there. This is this is fixed. Okay. No more than two out of B D F can work in the same committee. B D F are member of this primary. So B D F. Two together, two or less. Now we see Z is already done. Okay, Z ka primary. So we will have B D D F or B F together either in X or Y. So I can write. So we will have this group formation. So this is one group and this is another group. So they will split in this manner. In X or Y. Now. This is all done. So what we need to do is we have to think, as I told you, think about the C and J. C and J, or probably B, D, F, D, F, because okay, C and J. If I put C and J in X, then C is here, J is here. I cannot be in Y. I will be in Z, and G will be in Y. G is in Y. That means A will be in X. So. We have two primaries fixed and two and for X, so one one can be there, which can be one among B, D, F. If C and J are in Y, so C is in Y means primary of Y and J is here. Okay. I cannot be in Y. Okay. Now I can be now I cannot be in Y. So if I put So we have to see A and G. Where where can we put A and G? A and G cannot be in Z. So A and G has to be. I mean, sorry, uh, A and G cannot be in the same committee. Sorry. So I cannot put J in A because then G sir G in A. Otherwise X will suffer. So first of all, first solution. Let's see. We have C and J here. So C here, J here. Okay. So this is fixed. First of all, first solution. This is done. In this case, this is I. 
and this is G. A has to be compulsorily here. And so we are done with this. Here can be B or D or F. Here can be B, D. So two out of these three B, D, T, F, D, F. Everyone, this solution understood? First solution. So C and J को हम लोगों ने X में टिका दिया तो एक solution बन गया. Similarly, I'll put C and J in Y. Everyone, solution number one understood? Condition number one, case number one. Anyone any difficulty? That Divanshu, Divanshu Agarwal, Ariyom, Khushi, Isha, everyone, got it? Let's see. Let's do the other one. X, Y, X is five, is three, is two, is it? This H is fixed here, so I'm just directly putting it here. E is fixed. Okay. Now, everyone, I'll put C here and I'll put J here. Everyone, we need to get one out of these three here. B, D, F. Okay, so if I put B, D, F here, B here, so B, D, D, F and B, F. They will be here. A is also there. Okay, this is done. So primaries are done. Now we have to look at the associates. Since A is in X, so we will have G, Z here and I has to be here. So these are two solutions. That's it. Now everyone understood the solution. So is it, uh, so everyone, do you think it's easy if you follow this approach? No. C and J ko hum log bas tikana tha. So always remember this thing, simple thing. No. Put absolutely necessary thing there. Then think of which is the biggest group. C and J was there. So we tried putting C and J. If Z may not come, either X may come or Y may come. So X may dala, and then we look for what are the possibilities. C and J is there. So who else can be there? And so according to that, we we have tried to fill Y also, and then we tried to fill remaining of X. Similarly, C and J are in Y. So who else can be there in Y? B, D, or F. One of them because we cannot we cannot have three of them together. So who will be there in X? B, D. Or out of B, D, A, two will be there. We have to put one more person that has to be A. So if we, X may हम लोगों ने primary को सब कुछ fill कर दिया, that means uh, with A, G cannot be the A. So that G has to go to Z, and that's it. So all of the following can be part of X except who, who cannot be part of A. So if you see B is there, G C is there, G is there, G can be G cannot be there. So G can be part of Y or Z. F and G belong to the same committee. F and G same committee. Me kaap pe it can be in only Y here, the case one. Which of the following is definitely uh, are definitely in a committee together? So F and Gs are here, so we have to see case number one. A is with D, not necessary. A with C, yes, A with C, definitely true. Because F and G are here, then A and C are together. Okay. G belong to Y. G belong to Y. This is again case number one. Then which of the following cannot be in committee X? So C can be there. Okay. Sorry. H. So. B, D, F. These are the three possibilities we have to see. Otherwise, okay. So H, C, A, J. They they should be there. H, C, A, J. Here, this is not possible. Second one because B and D both cannot be there. So that is what the solution, everyone. So everyone, that is what you need to think from perspective of uh, jigsaw puzzle. जिक्सो पजल के पीस को आप लोग फिट करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं वेन यू डू मीन सॉल्व अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट परस्पेक्टिव यू विल बी फास्टर बिकॉज यू आर नॉट थिंकिंग और सॉल्विंग यू आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू फिटिंग थिंग है ना तो दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ग्रुपिंग वाला क्वेश्चन आर ईजियर कंपेयर टू वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट टाइप विच विल सी नाउ तो नेक्स्ट टाइप में वी वी आर नाउ वॉट आई कॉल इज मल्टी वेरिएबल Uh, the matrix formation something you might have studied in uh, uh, your class 
बिफोर नाइस ने शायद पढ़ाया होगा सो हियर यू हैव मल्टी वेरिएबल Now this one involves logic application. So here, uh, so what type of questions we get a lot is means. पहले हम लोग को normally uh, simple आता था कि there are four five persons different cities में है उनमें क्या करेंगे वो and all. We still get this type of question, but then dependencies are more they are complex, you know. So which we need to uh, understand. So here, uh, I think when you're solving these questions, you need to be read between lines. Okay. So what I mean by read between lines is read. this you are reading a particular read a line connect with previous lines and then so or then put into table okay now one more thing which i like to do is when you are solving this type of question i try to make the information as objective as possible and i try to make things as means possible in numbers as possible is okay so if i am given a ranking or something i'll try to make that how i can put those things into rank and everything and each piece of information i'll try to put into a, my main table everything so try putting everything into main table what i mean by that is let's say we are given a is rank is bit so let's say we are given rank of fourth person we are given then and we have to find what is rank of a b c d let's say simple question a is rank is better than d so i don't know what are their exact rank but what i can say is a b cannot be one and a cannot be four so although i'll still come back to this later a is rank is better than d but this is something i'm putting in my main table so that i am eliminate means reducing number of options which which are applicable for a or b or c or d okay so try putting things into your main table okay because out of sight out of mind that's all so you need to have everything in your main table which you are referring again and again every piece of information you are trying to fitting there and next thing is be patient what i mean by be patient is and have two or three iterations of all points what i mean by that is once you are done something You have solved maybe six fifty percent or percentage of it. You know, you have put a lot of things. You were able to well, maybe twenty percent. Some of the things you already got. Now you have read from point one to six. You have some of the things you are put in and able to put in in the main table. Some of the things you have just written in the side. Now read again and see point number one whether you are able to use means you have been able to use it. If yes, okay, tick. Point number two, whether you are able to use it. You have, you have done something in the main table. You are trying to do something. If yes, okay. So try seeing point number one, two, three, four. If you are able to use, so first iteration you are writing, you are putting something in the table main table. In the second iteration you are just cross checking. You are recollecting with the already existing point, and then you are trying to make changes in the main table. Most of the cases, if question is easy or moderate level, you shall be able to solve everything within two iterations. If a question is difficult, then probably you need third iteration. And generally, uh, means people ask me means a lot. Me, it's very important when to uh, uh, means uh, 
leave a question. So let's say you started solving it. You felt that okay, this is a particular question you can solve. Yeah. You're solving it. You've done first iteration. Now after first iteration, let's say you've done let's say 30 percentage. And after second iteration, if you feel that okay, there's still a lot of lot to be done, then I think that is the time you can leave the question. So this ensures that you have a mechanism to leave the question as well. So this is very very important point. I'm trying. I mean, I was I have made here that have this two or three iterations. Probably second iteration you will understand that okay, आज के दिन ये नहीं बनने वाला है. ठीक है. Or maybe you have idea. Okay, eighty percent हो गया. मेरे को एक और point की जरूरत है. Probably I'll read once more and then okay, that's it. That's done. Iteration means rechecking. Iteration means those six points. Additional information दे रखा होता है ना? So say for this particular question, wait a second. When it's solving it, iteration is iteration of these six points, or probably upper se pura information. Okay, you have tried solving it. So this particular question we could solve in one iteration only. You know, most of the things were done. We we just wrote it. Thus we just thought we'll make cases and done. But in This multi-variable question. What happens is you have made a table. You have tried to put point number one, two, three, four, five, six inside it. You could solve something. You could not solve completely. Then you read the question again from the beginning, and see whether you have missed something and whether you can use some of the information written, that means written in the question, in solving it. Because what happens is even though you have made sense of it, it is not on top of your mind. That is the reason you are not able to solve. Uh, you are not able to connect the dots, so you have to read again and then see. Okay, where can I connect that dot particular point and use it? So that is what I mean by iteration. One to six, pada, solve kia, nahi completely hua, then go back again and then solve it again, and means try doing something new. Am I clear now, Arjun? Is it understood? The point conveyed. Okay. So everyone, this particular question I'll give you more time compared to the previous one. I'll I intend to give you around twenty, twelve, thirty minutes. Now this one is not an easy one. So so quick, give you around twelve minutes to solve. Your time starts now.
हेलो चलिए बिगेन एवरीवन ओके खुशी हैज डन समथिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 रितेश हाईएस्ट मार्क्स इन इंग्लिश रितेश वेरी सुपीरियर वेरी समाय आंसर की इंग्लिश इज रितेश करेक्ट देन डेफिनेटली करेक्ट स्टूडेंट हु गॉट स्कोर हाईएस्ट मार्क्स इन संस्कृत गॉट थर्ड रैंक करेक्ट और व्हिच ऑफ द टू थिंग्स डेफिनेटली गॉट कंसेक्यूटिव रैंक chemistry and hindi yes correct good very good khushi so let's we begin shall we begin everyone yes no chal to sabko start karte hain hum log rajesh ritesh rakesh ramesh raj and rajan so this is very very stupid thing i don't know why they do this faltu mein aadha dimag to usi se kharab ho jata hai Top six ranks not necessarily in the order. The student got a different rank from each other. Also, each of the six students scored the highest uh, highest marks in exactly one of the six subjects: physics, chemistry, maths, English, and Sanskrit. English, Hindi, Sanskrit. Okay, we have given some information. So, what I'll do is I'll make one table uh, with each of these names: Rake, Rajesh, Rajesh, Ritesh. राकेश, so we have names, six names, रमेश and their overall rank and then we have the subject topper. so overall rank is something which we can write here. first column and second column we will write the a particular student is topper of which subject. so this is what this is our table will look like. Okay. Next is the overall rank, rank subject. Okay. Next thing is I'll also do this thing is for subject according to subject. Okay. Uh, let's say physics, chemistry, maths. Who who got uh, means topper of which uh, person got which rank? Now this is something which I got to understand after reading the means points. But anyways, I solved it before, so I'll just write it that something which we can use so physics chemistry maths english hindi sanskrit okay so i'm just writing the topper of each of the subject what is the rank they have got so this is something which will help us in eliminating some of the cases so i'm writing this making the second table also so let's begin. Neither Rakesh nor Rajan got first rank. So Rakesh ko bhi nahi hai and Rajan ko bhi nahi. The first one cross, one cross. That is what I'm writing. I have used it completely. So maybe I'll not come back to see this again. Student who got highest marks in English got two ranks better than Rajesh. So I'm writing it here. Point number two. English topper. His rank is Rakesh said two better. So I'm writing minus two. So this is the convention I'm using here. So Rajesh, not Rakesh. This is something which we need to be very careful about, everyone. Rajesh Rakesh. I don't, don't like this kind of terminologies. Rajesh minus two. So from here, what I can say is Rajesh cannot be rank one or rank two. Because English topper cannot be a rank better than him. Similarly, English topper, that person, English topper cannot be of rank 5 or 6. So, this is all also crossed. Okay, that's good. Let's go. So, this is something which I have used. I will be written it here. Okay. Student who got highest marks in Sanskrit got a rank better than Ramesh's rank. So Sanskrit topper Ramesh is a better rank, no lesser rank. A rank better than, okay, so better rank. So Ramesh cannot be 1 and Sanskrit cannot be 6. 
so that is also closed okay while rakesh's rank is better than ritesh's rank rakesh is less than ritesh so ritesh also cannot be number 1 and rakesh cannot be number 6 everyone so now from here we have something what is that we have raj is number 1 so we have something one is decided already everyone so raj is we know who is the topper so everyone this is what i was trying to say that i have we we need to objectify information so we say one one cross one cross everywhere so raj is number one so we, we are just in bit in middle rakesh is red but rakesh cannot be six ritesh cannot be number one so that is how we got it okay next come back point number three se chal point number four pe aate pe. i'm writing according to question number also because then we can just verify everything also Ramesh got rank 5. Ramesh is rank 5. Ramesh rank 5. Again, this is also fixed. We can use the bigger pen also. Means I mean, sorry. Circle kar sakte. Generally, I circle it if you are using normal pen. So, I let rank 5. Ra Ramesh is rank 5. Everyone, Ramesh is rank 5. The person who got highest marks in maths is got second rank. So, maths topper is second rank. This is also fixed, everyone. So this is something which we have written here. Everyone, I can write five cross everywhere. Five cross, five cross, five cross. So one cross was already there. Similarly, physics two pe niyo sakta. Ye bhi chemistry bhi two nahi. English bhi two nahi rank ho sakta. Hindi bhi niyo sakta. Okay. Because we can see directly now. Okay. Everyone got it? Hmm. Next, Rakesh got two rank better than student who got chemistry uh, means as in chemistry topper. Rakesh is two better chemistry topper. So Rakesh cannot be rank five, rank six, cool. So he can be rank four, maybe three. So he can be two, three or four. Okay. Chemistry top person cannot be rank one. And obviously he is not rank 2 which is already known to us. Okay. So rank 1 and 2 are gone. Chemistry top per se. Exact we don't know. But then let's let's do it. Okay. Raj scored highest in physics. So Raj is physics ka topper here. This is something which we know. Probably I can write in green. And I write physics. So physics is rank 1. Here. So we can cross rank one everywhere else one cross one cross one cross okay so here we have solved something out of some 12 pieces of information we have just three 25 percent solved why but let's go again let's see if we can try to solve it again so this is what i mean by iteration are you know pella iteration which you have to iteration path okay so what we are trying to do is we are trying to make it as objective as possible so emotional nahi hona hai but our solve kiya hum logo ne one se five tak kiya ye kiya you know sab ko use kiya hum log wapas ja rahe theek hai to no emotions attach using the information applying brain solving it writing it and then coming back okay point number one neither rakesh or rajan got rank one which is fine okay student who got highest marks in english got two ranks better than than rajesh so highest marks in english to get two ranks better than rajesh so Rajesh is two rank better hai. Rajesh can be rank six. Then English wala can be rank four. Okay. Rajesh cannot be that means. Okay. So, Rajesh cannot be five, so he cannot be rank three. So usse upar to possible hi nahi hai, everyone. Theek hai. So what is the possible rank for English? English can be three or four. So Rajesh is two rank better English ka. Okay, so it, he, he cannot be five. So it is only possibility is what is the only possibility? We have Rajesh for six. Everyone got it? English ke liye possibilities are three and four. 
एक इंग्लिश थ्री है राजेश फाइव पे आ जाएगा विच इज अट्रेडिक्शन विद रमेश इज ऑलरेडी फाइव सो ऑनली पॉसिबिलिटी इज इंग्लिश इज फोर एंड राजेश इज सिक्स एवरी वन गोइंग फाइन नाउ एक साथ हम लोगों ने काफी अच्छा काम कर लिया है सिमिलरली फोर इज गॉन हियर ओके ओके नेक्स्ट वेरी गुड एक्सीलेंट यहां तक सो सेवन आउट ऑफ ट्वेल्व we we have done how much sorry four out of ten uh, twelve thirty three percentage okay so this is done point number two completely used it student who scored highest marks in English got two times better than Rajesh Rajesh का rank पता लग गया हम लोगों को और English का भी पता लग गया ठीक है चल तो student who scored highest marks in Sanskrit got a rank better than Ramesh's rank now Ramesh से better rank है तो this person can be ranked what फाइव है रमेश सो ही कैन ऑल्सो नॉट बी फाइव मीन्स ही कैन नॉट बी फाइव ही कैन नॉट बी वन और टू और सिक्स ऑल्सो फोर भी नहीं हो सकता तो ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी इज थ्री सो संस्कृत इज थ्री ओके वेरी गुड संस्कृत इज थ्री दैट मीन्स वी कैन राइट थ्री क्रॉस एवरीवेयर हेल्स थ्री क्रॉस थ्री क्रॉस सो इफ यू सी केमिस्ट्री एंड हिंदी आर फाइव एंड सिक्स रैंक फाइव एंड सिक्स दैट इज दीज आर दी ओनली टू पॉसिबिलिटीज लेफ्ट ईयर ओके तो हम लोग काफी अभी अभी वी आर इन स्टडी सॉलिड स्टेट काफी अच्छे से हम लोगों ने कर दिया है रमेश इज रैंक से बेटर है गुड वाइल राकेश इज रैंक इज बेटर देन रितेश इज रैंक राकेश इज बेटर देन रितेश राकेश और रितेश में बेटर है अब ये दोनों का वन थ्री फाइव ये तो इनमें दे कैन बी राकेश और रितेश so two three or three four these are the two possibilities we have okay everyone if we need we get further evidence we will be able to solve it okay rakesh and ritesh rakesh ka rank is better than ritesh's rank okay cool if we don't know anything else two three or three four ramesh got fifth rank while student who got highest max is got second rank theek hai rakesh got two ranks better than student who got highest marks in chemistry so if chemistry is 5 rakesh will become 3 chemistry is 4 then rakesh will become sorry chemistry is 6 then rakesh will become 4 rakesh cannot be 4 rakesh has to be rank 3 2 to aa hi nahi sakta rakesh ka no so i need to put chemistry at 5 rakesh at 3 Ritesh at four, Rajan at two. If I put chemistry at five, Hindi is at six. That's it, done. Everyone, so I talked about two things. You need to be patient. You need to see each and every line, and then just see whether you can apply it, solve it or not. So you might be a little bit slow, but you are making sure that you are using your time and everything, and you are solving it. Now uh, we we have the second table also filled completely, so I can just write those values. ओके रैंक वन जो है वो फिजिक्स में है रैंक टू वाला मैथ्स मैथ्स इधर रैंक थ्री इज संस्कृत रैंक थ्री इज संस्कृत रैंक फोर इज इंग्लिश रैंक फाइव इज केमिस्ट्री रैंक सिंक्स इन हिंदी एंड नाउ वी कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन स्कोर हाईस्ट मार्क्स इन इंग्लिश इंग्लिश में हाईस्ट मार्क्स कौन स्कोर किया है रितेश विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डेफिनेटली करेक्ट स्टूडेंट हु गॉट हाइस्ट मार्क्स इन केमिस्ट्री गॉट रैंक सिंक्स नो नो Rajan got rank third rank. Rajan got second rank. Rakesh scored highest in Hindi. Rakesh got scored highest in Sanskrit. So that's not true. Student who scored highest in maths or Sanskrit has got third rank. Yes, that's true. Which of the two students definitely got two consecutive ranks? Ritesh and Rajan. Ritesh and Rajan. No, four three, four two. Student who got highest marks in Hindi and English. Hindi and English are four and six. No. Student who got highest marks in chemistry and Hindi. chemistry in the uh, five and six yes that's true that's correct so everyone got the got got it now third type of question is uh, this is something which i like a lot the third type third type is maths based questions maths or number based questions now number based questions are really good question in the sense that 
I generally try to make sure that whatever numbers information given in terms of Rakesh, Rajan or something, try to put into a form where we can just objectify information. With number based questions, what you have is digits or number based question, you already have objective piece of information. You have to just apply the constraint and then you have to solve. So I'll not talk much about it. Let's let's solve and then we, when we are solving it, we will we'll discuss. Okay, so you have third set everyone. Let's start. Uh, I'll give lesser amount of time for this one. Reason being I feel this is a bit easier compared to other two. No. So I'll give you around seven, eight minutes and then we'll discuss if you need a, more time, we, I'll give you more time. So question number seven, eight, nine, everyone.
Answer anyone? Need more time or shall we begin? Okay, cool. Okay, Manju. Two more minutes, guys. Okay, everyone. I think I'll just give you one more minute. Nine fifteen to start. करते हैं. Okay, everyone. Let's start. Okay. So, question number. Uh, yes, very good, Himanshu. So, let's start. Sabki. We are given that uh, rule number of uh, Ajay for his management entrance exam. Okay, it's a six-digit number, not starting with zero. So, let's write one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. The in the number three digits are used two times. So three digits are two times. And two digits are used once. Two digits once. So just write digits. Okay. Next, the number formed by first and second digits is square of number formed by seventh and eighth. So this one is. Square of this and this. It's not starting with zero. No, so ये भी जब zero से start नहीं हो रहा है, तो ये यहाँ पे zero से start नहीं होता, तो zero नहीं आ सकता. So this number cannot be zero one, zero two, zero three. It can be so seven or eight के लिए option दिखते हैं. Zero four, zero five, zero six, zero seven, zero eight, zero nine. One or two के लिए options हैं. One six, two five, three six, four nine, six four eight. Because आगे तो जाने सकते हैं ten हो जाएगा तो hundred हो जाएगा which is not possible. ठीक है? तो we we have seven or eight or one or two का sorted है हम लोगों ने काफी कुछ कर दिया. Next number formed by three and four is product of two consecutive integers. So this three and four, three and four के लिए two consecutive positive integers. Three four क्या हो सकता है? So it can be uh, 
वन इंटू टू नेचुरल नंबर ना हाँ वन इंटू टू दैन टू इंटू थ्री सिक्स थ्री इंटू फोर फोर इंटू फाइव फाइव इंटू सिक्स सिक्स इंटू सेवन सेवन इंटू एट एट इंटू नाइन नाइन इंटू टेन दैट्स इट देन ऊपर चला जाएगा ओके सम ऑफ टू डिजिट फॉर्म बाय थर्ड एंड फोर्थ डिजिट्स आर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू कॉन्जिकेटिव नेचुरल नंबर्स ओके थर्ड फोर्थ को ऐड करेंगे थर्ड फोर एंड फाइव सिक्स को तो फिर हम लोग को इसमें से ऑप्शन मिलेगा अब ठीक है फिर लिखा हुआ है द नंबर फॉर्म बाय थर्ड एंड फोर्थ इज सिक्स लेस देन नंबर ऑफ फाइव एंड सिक्स सो फाइव सिक्स का जो भी नंबर है माइनस थ्री फोर का नंबर है वो जो है क्या है सिक्स का डिफरेंस है तो थ्री फोर वाले को डबल करके सिक्स ऐड करेंगे तो हम लोग को फाइव सिक्स मिलना चाहिए तो जीरो टू को डबल करेंगे और फोर आया फोर प्लस सिक्स करेंगे टेन टेन तो नहीं दिख रहा है सिक्स वाले को देखते हैं सिक्स को डबल करेंगे ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्स करेंगे एटीन नहीं आ रहा है ट्वेल्व को डबल करेंगे तो हम लोग को मिलेगा ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस सिक्स करेंगे थर्टी दिस इज अ जोड़ी सो फाइव सिक्स थ्री फोर के लिए दिस ट्वेल्व एंड एटीन ये हो सकता सब कोई समझ में आया दिस पॉइंट एवरीवन कि थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सिक्स वाले को ऐड करेंगे देन इट इज बिलोंग इट विल बिलोंग टू दिस कैटेगरी ओनली ओके सो एंड फाइव सिक्स इज सिक्स मोर देन थ्री फोर सो थ्री फोर इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व प्लस एट सिक्स इज एटीन सो वॉट वी एम डूइंग इज थ्री फोर जो भी आ रहा है उसको डबल करके प्लस सिक्स कर रहे हैं सो ट्वेल्व का डबल इज ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस सिक्स इज थर्टी थर्टी इज देयर दैन दिस इज वन ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व इज गॉन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का डबल इज फोर्टी फोर्टी प्लस सिक्स इज फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सिक्स इज नॉट देयर थर्टी का डबल इज सिक्सटी सिक्सटी का प्लस सिक्सटी सिक्स इज नॉट देयर फोर्टी टू का डबल इज एटी फोर एटी फोर प्लस सिक्स इज Forty two plus, and then we have already gone beyond. Or maybe you can see fifty six. Fifty six ka double is hundred and twelve plus six is one and eight. One and eight this will not follow. Means if you can write here one one ten, one one zero, one thirty two, and so on. Seventy two ka double is one forty four plus six is one fifty. So we we are going beyond. So let's leave it here. क्योंकि हम लोग का नंबर टू डिजिट नंबर ही है तो उसके ऊपर नहीं जाते ओके सो वी हैव टू ऑप्शंस दिस कैन बी वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन और दिस कैन बी मीन दिस इज तो दो ऑप्शन हम लोग के पास में सो हियर दिस वन हम जीरो इन डाउन व्हाट व्हाट वी नो ओके ओके पॉइंट नंबर सेवन द नंबर फोर बाय फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ डिजिट इज एन इवन नंबर सो फोर्थ फिफ्थ इज एन इवन नंबर so this is an even number fifth is an even number fifth is an even number so this possibility is gone so we have only one possible solution so i am writing it so this is 48 this is 42 nice we we have something okay good so frequency wise hum bhi lekh lete hain hum logo ko triple frequency bhi chahiye aur double frequency bhi chahiye to 4 28 so triple frequency nahi chahiye double frequency chahiye aur kahi kahi pe single so i'm just writing here is a one okay now that's it okay sorry we we have eight number formed by second and third digit is not a perfect square second and third may this is not a perfect square so we cannot have six here we cannot have six here 64 so 60 6 one and two this this is not allowed then 36 this is also not allowed and okay so 64 or uh, 64 is one number Or zero four zero four is also not allowed, which is not there. So that's cool. So these are two entries we have already eliminated. Now let's let's solve. Okay. Okay. अब हम लोग के पास में इधर से ऑप्शन बचा हुआ है एंड देन वी हैव दिस पीस ऑफ इनफॉरमेशन आल्सो दिस समथिंग व्हिच वी हैव टू यूज. Okay. If I use zero five and two five, then two will once come once more, five will come once more. 
तो डबल फ्रीक्वेंसी वाले हो जाएंगे फोर टू फाइव एंड जीरो एंड एट विल बी सिंगल फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस लुक्स लाइक अ गुड नंबर गुड ऑप्शन जीरो सेवन के केस में विल आर फोर विथ थ्री फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रिपल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दिस इज नॉट अलाउड दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट अलाउड बिकॉज फोर विल आर ट्रिपल फ्रीक्वेंसी जीरो नाइन रखने पर क्या होगा इफ आई पुट जीरो नाइन गया एटी वन गया एट विल हैव डबल फ्रीक्वेंसी वन सो फ्रीक्वेंसी भी लिख लेते हैं हम लोग यहाँ पे सो एट विल हैव डबल फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस इज टू दिस वन देन एक्स्ट्रा नंबर्स आर वन जीरो नाइन दे विल हैव सिंगल सिंगल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दिस इज नॉट वर्किंग आउट फॉर अस लेट्स चेक दिस सोल्यूशन जीरो फाइव टू फाइव लुक्स लाइक दिस इज दी आंसर जीरो फाइव टू फाइव में जीरो का फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वंस टू विल बिकम टू का फ्रीक्वेंसी इज ट्राइस एट इज वंस ओनली फाइव वी हैव फाइव फाइव इज ट्वाइस सो थ्री नंबर्स आर विथ टू डबल फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड टू नंबर्स आर विथ सिंगल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दिस इज दी आंसर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड देन वी हैव जीरो सो दैट्स इट What is the sum of the digits used by uh, Ajay's roll number? Seven and six is thirteen. Thirteen plus twelve is twenty-five. Uh, plus five is thirty. So thirty is the answer. Which of the following is not present in the roll number? Two is there. Four is there. Zero is there. Six is not there. Which digit is sixth position? Sixth position is eight. That's it, everyone. So with numbers again, what you need to do is uh, now. Uh, one thing you need to understand is that you have to start making cases. Now you you start to make means. So sometimes you make cases by writing it down. Sometimes you make cases in mind. But you have to do this hit and trial a lot. Now that is what reasoning is. Reasoning is not that you have formula and you solve it. That maths. Reasoning is you are doing hit and trial, trying to fit in something, not working, then doing the second option, then not working, then doing the third option. So you need to generate those. So Hit and trial. Clearly, what you need to do is you under you have to understand constraint. You need to generate a limited number of options, and with limited num number of options, you hit and trial, and then you see which one is fitting you. So anyone who feels that LR is difficult, okay, you need to do this. Initially, you might be slow. Might be slow in generating those options and hit doing hit and trial, but that is the way to go. Now, if you means so you you need to do those hard yards okay, and. Once you start doing it by yourself, you start getting hang of things, and you start you will be able to solve more and more questions. Then you will get better at it, faster at it. There is no no shortcut. So you need to generate options. So everywhere, if you see all three questions, question number this first set we had C and J, we just tried putting it in. Then we we thought what are all the possibilities are there. So we are just putting. Say where can we put A? Where can we put Z? You know, so you are doing hit and trial. Now, according to constraints, so constraint application that is very very important. Now, similarly here, this is what we did. Now, once we 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 are just writing everywhere which is not possible, which is not possible, and according to constraint again we are just putting what can number we can put for Rajesh or Ritesh and all. We are just doing a lot of hit and trial, uh, increasing the constraints. Now, if one is getting through, another one is the number is. That number is not possible for another one. So trying to make things very obvious when we are obvious as in looks uh, uh, obvious to you or your eyes. Now, so logic को बाहर निकाल के eyes के सामने clear करने के लिए that is what you are trying to. So I hope uh, you you guys uh, learned a lot in today's session.